Welcome to this DropTop demo video. In this video, you're gonna learn some of the basics about DropTop, and you're also gonna see some of the specific features and functionality. Now, before we jump in, DropTop is specifically built for oil change shops, detailing shops, and other automotive shops that need to get cars in and out of their shop very quickly and efficiently. DropTop is also 100% cloud-based. What that means is you can access your entire account and all your information from any device, anywhere, anytime. That also means you can run your shop the way you want to run it. So because it's cloud-based, you can use whatever hardware you like and you can set up as many devices as you like. You could have, if you have bays, you could have multiple tablets or laptops running in the bay, as well as a TV screen in the bay or a TV screen in your waiting room. If you're mobile, you can have each of your technicians use a mobile device or a tablet, um, and then your head office can have a computer or two or three or four dispatching orders. Okay, so let's jump into the product a little bit. DropTop is great for single operators, but it's also great if you have multiple locations. So you can see in the top right hand corner here, I have a couple different shops. This is my demo account with three different shops. So I'm gonna choose the shop I wanna work in right now. On top of that, there's also user role-based permissions. What that means is you can have a technician account, a manager account, and an owner account. Each of those profiles have access to different things in the system. You can also assign each of those users to have access to different shops when you do have a multiple operation business. Okay, let's jump into one of the most important parts of the system is how do you get customers in and out of your shop efficiently and how do you make sure you have the right information for your technicians to do the work they need to do. So to do that, let's go through and see what an order would look like in DropTop. I'm gonna start here with the start order button. When processing an order, there's two key ways to put an order in. I can go down the vehicle route or I can look up a customer slash fleet. If I go down the vehicle route, you'll see there's two key ways I can enter the vehicle. I can either scan a VIN, and you can use pretty well uh, any scanner on the market. We'll recommend a couple that work really well, that we feel worked well, but again, because you can use pretty much any hardware with DropTop, you can use pretty well any scanner. The second option is a license plate lookup. So here you can just punch in the license plate. This is directly connected to Carfax. We will look up the vehicle, find the right car through Carfax, and then make all the next calls after that. So if we go back to this option, I'm gonna click on customer slash fleet. Here I can look up a customer or a fleet and I can search by their name, phone number, email, or plate. So let's look up one of the customers. Here's a couple of Tims that come up. I'm gonna go with Tim Bilson. And you'll see here, he already has a vehicle and he's been to my shop in the past. So I'm gonna continue with vehicle at the top here, you're gonna see there's a bunch of different tabs. So we've selected the customer, we've selected the vehicle. Now we have to enter the specs. And you're gonna see here, this is an existing vehicle, which means it's been to my shop in the past. There's some information about the vehicle here already, and you can see the past mileage. So below, I'm gonna enter the new mileage, and I'm gonna hit save and continue. Next, you'll see we're on the servicing tab. So here's where we're gonna to start to build the order out. At the top, you'll see a customer loyalty information. Basically what this is telling us is how often Tim has visited us um, and what his average ticket value is and how that compares to my average customer. If we scroll down a bit, you'll see past vehicle orders. So you can look at the past orders you've worked on or you can look at this fluid checkup uh, section. Here you can see all the different fluid information about this vehicle. Now this is really cool. It's a quick snapshot of all the fluid information, but you're gonna see why in a second, you don't really need to come here. If we click back, you're gonna see all the services that are available at my shop. Now we of course would help you configure this ahead of time. So only the services that you offer at your shop are gonna show up here. And what you're gonna see next is inside of each of these services is the specific information you need to complete that service. For example, you'll see here, the flashing red shows me that this customer is due for an engine oil drain and refill and a filter remove and replace. So they're ready for an oil change. I'm gonna select one of these services. You're gonna see their past due. It was last service at 10,000. It's recommended every five and we're at 15,000. Now for me, I have two packages that I offer at my shop. I have a regular oil change and a synthetic oil change. You of course can configure your own packages you can name them whatever you like, and you can customize your pricing. 
We'll get into even more flexible pricing later on, but you can charge overages, you can charge an additional amount for premium filters, and there's a whole bunch of flexibility behind package creation. So for now, let's say this customer wants a regular oil change. I'm gonna select regular oil change, and you'll see now here's my regular oil change package. Here's some of the information about the vehicle. And if I scroll down a bit, you'll see here's the service we're going to complete. We're going to drain and refill the oil. Now what's really cool is here's the exact information I need to know when it comes to actually doing the service. This data comes from Motor. Motor is the largest provider for OEM maintenance information. We get it directly from them and they are the biggest provider across North America. So what you'll see here is this car needs 5W30 conventional oil and it has a 5.5 quart capacity, which is great. So now if we scroll down a little bit, we're gonna see these are all of my oils that I have in my shop. So I wanna know which ones are verified for the vehicle. I'm gonna click this little checkbox and you'll see now I only see my 5W30s, which of course match the vehicle. You'll also see I have my Mobile One oil and I have 50 quarts of it in stock. And there's my casserole and I have 465 quarts of it. So this little check here shows me that there's a positive viscosity match with this oil and the vehicle. So I could choose any of these, but in this example, I wanna use my Mobile One. So I'm gonna select it. What you're also gonna notice here is we have this overage option. And in this case, this car actually takes 5.5 uh, quarts which is half a quart over what's included for free in my package. So here you're gonna see it's already gonna charge $1 extra. And again, all of that is customizable and fully configurable on your end. If I scroll down a little bit, you're gonna see the second service we're gonna complete, which is to change the filter. Now the same logic applies. All of my oil filters show up here, but I just wanna see the oil filters that are going to fit the vehicle. With the, our part catalog company that's directly integrated with DropTop, we can now tell you which filters fit the vehicle. So I know I have my premium guard, this Pronto filter, and a Valvoline. There's my stock levels of the three, so I can decide which one I wanna use. In this case, you'll also notice there's this little blue icon. That there tells me that I've used this particular part on this car in the past. So maybe this customer really wants the premium guard and that's what he asked for last time. So I can go ahead and choose the same one that I used last time. I'm gonna hit add package to order and you'll see on the right, we've started to create this order. There's my oil change with the fluid and the part. The last thing I'm gonna do before we move on is I'm gonna select which inspection group I wanna complete for this vehicle. Basically, inspection groups let you group your inspections. So you can have just one complimentary inspection checklist, or you could have a couple different ones. Some individuals like to make different lists, um, one for servicing or inspecting cars, the second one for inspecting a truck. Some of our customers like to use these lists to have a custom inspection list for some of their larger customers. Like when a Hertz car comes in, I know I have to do these inspections. So that's fully up to you. You can make as many inspection groups as you like, or you can keep it simple and just make one group. So I've selected my complimentary checklist and I'm gonna click save and continue. You'll see now we're on the last step. So if you wanted to, you can tab back and forth and you can make any updates. Uh, but here you'll see the order is starting to be created. So there is my drop top information at the top. You would see all of your information, of course the address and information of this customer, the vehicle information, and the servicing and parts information. Now, discounting and tax exemptions can be set on the customer and fleet levels. So you can pre-configure those things and they will show up here automatically. Or if I wanted to add a one-off discount, I can do so here as well. I can add discounts or I can just add casual items. I could add a supply fee, a labor fee. I can add whatever I want here. And the last thing we can do is also add inventory items. So if they decide at this point, oh, I want a wiper blade and they forgot to order it before, I can add a wiper blade to their order. The inspections I'll get back to in a second, but overall we like this order. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send it over to the bay. If you wanted to, there's an option here as well where your customer can sign the order with their finger if you have a tablet. And you can email this entire order to your customer uh, just by clicking this box. Now, when you first load the customer, you can actually check the box so that every time it auto checks, but that's up to you. 
Okay, so we're happy with this order. We're gonna send it to the bay. In this case, I have a three bay operation, so I'm gonna send it over to bay one. The bay screen is really cool. It shows the technician uh, which car is coming into the bay. They know exactly which services to complete, what oil to use and how much, which parts to use, as well as which inspections to complete. So the technician can at a glance see exactly what they need to work on and they can go ahead and start servicing the vehicle. You can also assign technicians to the order if you like. So for example, we can put Joe on the order. And lastly, the technician of course is gonna go through and do the inspections. So to do those inspections, they're gonna click edit. It's gonna bring them back to the order. They're gonna hit add slash edit results. And you'll see here, they can go through and identify which inspections have been completed. What's great about this is it's 100% customizable. So you can customize the name of all your checklists, customize each of your inspections and each of these tags and the colors. So let's say, I'm gonna change that next time. The battery looked good, cabin air filter was clean. There was no leaks. I can also add notes here and I'm gonna hit save. And you'll see all of those inspections show up on the invoice. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the order now. Before I complete this order, I wanna show you one other screen called the order progress screen. The order progress screen shows me all the orders that are in my shop today. Open means the car has just come in, maybe we just scanned the VIN or punched the plate in, but we're still building the order. In bay means it's sitting in the bay and being worked on. Service complete means the service has been completed, but maybe we're still waiting for payment or finalization. At this stage, you can still edit the order. And then finally, it goes to finalized and paid at the very end. So with this order now, I feel good about it. The technician's finished. So we're gonna click complete and you'll see it's now in service complete. If I wanted to, I can continue to edit this order and make any final changes. But if we're finished, we're gonna finalize the order and we're gonna take payment. Now we actually have an integrated payment system. So if you wanna use our integrated payment system, you can do so. If you don't use our integrated payment system, you can uh, do that as well. So in this case, I don't have my terminal plugged in. So I'm gonna go with cash. I'll select cash, submit and finalize. And you'll see here we've taken payment for that order and it's complete. So that's the order flow process. Next, let's look at the dashboard. Let's see what kind of information you get to see while you're running your operation. If I click over to dashboard, here at the very top, you're gonna to see some information uh, based on today's metrics. So what's my average order value today, my total sales, my average service time, this is my bay time, and how many vehicles have I processed? If I scroll down a little bit, I'm also gonna see metrics by date range. So what are my sales over the last month? Package sales broken out by my different packages. What are my labor, labor cost expenses? And what are my total operational sales? So all this is really, really cool. It's for one specific shop, but if you have multiple, with a couple of quick clicks, I can toggle all my operations and see the exact same data points, but for all of them. So it's super handy and quick to pull for multiple locations. Let's go back to the single shop. The other cool thing you can do is pull a full report. So if I click this full report button, and actually before I do that, you can also change these date ranges. So if I don't wanna look at a full month, I just wanna see last week, for example, I can click that and you'll see my data points are updated based on last week. Let's go back to a full month and let's say we wanna look at the full report. So I can now click full report and within full report is all of your sales information by packages, by inventory items. Um, you can see all of your taxation information. So if you're a mobile shop, you're gonna love the uh, taxation information that's broken out by city. If you're not mobile, you won't care about that as much. Now you can also see payment types. So again, you can pull this by day, by month, by week, uh, but you can see all the different payment types that have come into your shop, your customers, how many new versus repeat, how many new versus repeat fleets have come in, and then just overall miscellaneous information. How many vehicles have I processed? What's my average service time? What's my cost of goods sold? And again, this report will change depending on what date range you wanna pull. There's labor data and an overall profit calculator as well. Okay, so that's dashboards and reporting. So next, let's jump to inventory really quickly. 
Inventory is pretty straightforward. Here's where you store all of your parts and your fluids. So of course you upload all this information ahead of time. We can help you if you uh, need help porting over your old inventory systems into DropTop. But basically all your inventory is tracked here. So we're based on a FIFO system, first in, first out, which means your inventory and your cost of goods sold are 100% accurate. Um, if I go into one of these parts as an example, let's check out this Wix filter. You'll see here, there's a full history on the, the part. You can see every sale and adjustment that's happened along with which user made that transaction and a full cost breakdown of all the receivables of your parts. So if you receive at different costs, it's okay, the system can handle that. Okay, next let's jump to the order manager real quick. So here's the order manager page. This page is basically lets you see all of your orders over a specific date range. So I'm gonna go to the date section here. Let's look at all the orders over the last month. What's also really great is I can filter these orders down. So I can go ahead and look for a specific customer of mine, payment methods, order status, what needs to be collected, what has been paid for, what hasn't paid for, been paid for, um, and you know who owes me money. Okay, so the last few things I wanna to touch on is showing you a couple more pages. Customers and fleets, this page here shows me all of my customers and all of my fleets. You'll notice here, it gives me a summary of all my customers and my accounts receivable and credits. Same thing on the fleet side. The last thing I wanna to touch on is your operation setups page. I'm not gonna to get too much into this now, but here's where you would set all of your operational settings. You can tell the system which services you offer, the inspections you offer, and you can configure all of your packages. So all of this information is laid out in a trial setup video. So when you're ready for your trial, go on droptop.io, ask for your trial. Um, we'll send you the trial video and we'll help you set all this stuff up. But basically all your configurations are here. Once you've set all these things, then your operation is super, super simple to run. So that's it for now, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, call us, email us, and we're here to help you guys get set up on Droptop.